Have you ever bought a new car and suddenly started seeing that exact same model everywhere on the road? Or maybe you learned a new word and all of a sudden it pops up in articles, conversations, and even on TV. It feels like a strange coincidence, right? Well, it's not a coincidence at all. It's a fascinating brain phenomenon called the Bader-Meinhof phenomenon, or more simply, frequency illusion. Here's how it works. Your brain is constantly bombarded with an incredible amount of information every single second. To cope, it has to filter out what it thinks is irrelevant. But when something new captures your attention like that new car or word, your brain flags it as important. This is called selective attention. Your mind essentially says, hey, this is relevant now, let's keep an eye out for it. Then the second part kicks in, confirmation bias. Every time you see that car or hear that word again, your brain goes, see, I told you it was everywhere. It confirms your new belief that this thing is suddenly more common. It wasn't that there were suddenly more of those cars on the road. Your brain just started actively looking for them and noticing them, whereas before, they were just part of the background noise you ignored. So what does this mean for us? It's a powerful reminder that what we focus on expands. If you're constantly focusing on negative news or your own shortcomings, your brain will get really good at spotting more of that negativity everywhere you look. It will actively search for evidence to confirm that the world is a bad place or that you re not good enough. But the good news is you can flip the script. You can consciously direct your selective attention. Start actively looking for opportunities, for kindness, for things you're grateful for. Make a point to notice small wins, beautiful moments, or positive interactions. At first, it might feel like you're forcing it. But just like with the car, your brain will start to flag these positive things as important. Soon, you'll start seeing them everywhere. Not because the world changed, but because you trained your mind to see the good that was already there. You essentially create your own reality by choosing what you pay attention to. So, what are you going to start noticing today? Thanks for watching, and if you found this interesting, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content about how your mind works. See you next time.